to shift gears, change careers, and become a yoga teacher? Part 2 How would you pay your bills by teaching yoga for a living? Everyone needs a certain amount of income to live on and yoga teachers are no different. Yoga jobs may not instantly fall into your lap. So what can you do to make a painless transition into becoming a yoga teacher full-time? The key word is full-time because this is a very big step. Most of us got into teaching yoga gradually, on a part-time basis, and gradually built up a student base. This is the safest way to approach teaching yoga. You get to perfect your teaching skills, while you are an independent contractor working at health clubs, corporate fitness centers, senior centers, ashrams, or yoga studios. Some yoga teachers have home businesses. You may decide to open a small studio in your barn, loft, backyard, garage, den, or a separate building on your property. This is not for everyone and does have a few drawbacks. Some yoga teachers may not want to give their students the run of the house. Also, some female teachers may feel uncomfortable with male students in their homes. Think about this scenario. When you have a home business, it is hard to separate business time from personal time. Let's say you decided to take Memorial Day off. Memorial Day is always celebrated on a Monday. You tell all of your students' class is canceled, but one of them drives up for a yoga class on Monday evening, at the usual time. You have family visiting and explain that there is no yoga class tonight. Now, you feel uncomfortable because your forgetful yoga student does not remember it is a holiday, until you tell him or her. Do you think this could never happen? Think again, and you would be surprised how many times you may be on call. Home businesses have the advantage of no commute, low overhead, and convenience for the yoga teacher. However, the drawbacks of being expected to teach any time can make a home-based yoga studio inconvenient. If you decide to go this route, make sure you draw the line when it comes to your personal time. Back to getting part-time work as a yoga teacher, many yoga teachers gradually build their student base to a point where there is a decision to bring in a partner, limited partner, junior partner, hire an employee, jump into teaching full-time, or stop at a few yoga teaching assignment per week how to shift gears, change careers, and become a yoga teacher. Part 2 How would you pay your bills by teaching yoga for a living? Everyone needs a certain amount of income to live on and yoga teachers are no different. Yoga jobs may not instantly fall into your lap. So what can you do to make a painless transition into becoming a yoga teacher full-time? The key word is full-time because this is a very big step. Most of us got into teaching.